Okay, I'm gonna make a big statement here. The plugs in Wreck-It Ralph connecting the arcade games like trains and the router being a station is one of the best, most inventive ideas in modern film history. Yeah, I said it. But there are also so many unanswered questions about these plugs and today I'm going to tackle some of them. Hello there! How are you doing? Okay, let's just go through some of these questions I've got. So understandably, all the characters inside the arcade games are terrified of being unplugged. They're gonna pull our plug! <laughs> okay, but what happens when the router gets unplugged, meaning all of the games get unplugged? Or say Mr. Lipquack like hits this switch. Does everyone just die? What happens if there's a power cut? Again. Does everyone die? Does Mr. Lipwack not turn the power off and the arcade machines off at night? Does he not care about his electricity bill or, more importantly, saving the environment? If the game gets suddenly unplugged and the characters don't get to leave the game and enter the station before the game gets unplugged, do the characters die with the game? And then when the game gets plugged in, presumably they come back to life, but do they come back to life as, like, the same character with different memories or something? I, I really don't know. And finally, let's say there's a child in the arcade who decided to unplug an old game that no one was playing with because, you know, they're just a rebellious 12-year-old who can't be tamed. Or let's just say their phone was dying and they wanted to plug their phone in or something. Would that have the same effect on the characters in the game as Mr. Lipwack unplugging it? Like, would they die if someone just randomly unplugged the game? Okay, as you can see, I clearly have a problem with the concept of what happens when they get unplugged. But anyway, I'm going to try and answer these questions as well as possible. To answer the first two, if the router gets turned off or the power source goes down, technically all the games go down, right? So does this mean that all the characters die? Well, no. It's pretty clear that energy source comes from the electricity in the plug. So when it's turned off or unplugged, I guess they basically go into like a deep sleep just waiting to be plugged in or turned on again. So if the power goes out, it's not really a problem. They've all just kind of gone into a deep sleep until the power comes back on. And despite the fact it's never said, their memories are presumably preserved because, well, Ralph and Felix can remember things from 30 years ago when their game first came about. And I highly doubt there was never like a power cut or someone didn't turn the power off in 30 years. And obviously their memories are saved in the code, but I don't know how that's affected when the plug's pulled, but I presume they are stored. So I don't get why they fear being unplugged so much. I bet they get unplugged accidentally all the time. They need to fear being put out of order for good. That is the real thing you need to be scared of. But then again, I guess they're only really afraid of being unplugged by Mr. Lipwack, who basically controls their existence. I don't want to turn it all religious, but do you think the arcade game characters see him as God? Because, like, he plugs them in, it gives them life, and then he controls whether they stay around or not. I'll have someone look at it tomorrow, but if you can't fix it, it might be time to put old Ralph and Felix out to pasture. Yes, in answer to the other question, Mr. Litwack is an unconservative, fossil fuel using, planet destroying, energy waster. He seems like the really friendly arcade owner, but really, he's the devil. Why don't you turn the power off at the end of the day? He's basically the villain of the film. The last question is the most important to this video. Back to that whole theoretical concept of there being this old game that no one wanted to play with, so some kid unplugged it to plug his phone in. If that happens, what happens to the game? I feel like I've answered this though, they kind of just go into like hyper sleep until they're plugged back in. The thing that interests me about this though is that if a phone or anything else for that matter is plugged into the router, it creates a platform for it at Game Central Station. Meaning that the plugs would create a connection between a phone and the arcade games through this router. And wouldn't that mean that the arcade game characters in Game Central Station could travel from Game Central Station into a phone if the phone was plugged in? And does that mean that like all the apps and all the characters inside apps on our phone are alive in this universe? And then they can enter Game Central Station from our phones if they're plugged into this router. I've probably asked way too many questions in this video, but if you're wondering why this is important, Disney released this video yesterday. showing that Wreck-It Ralph 2 has something to do with apps, phones, and mobile gaming. Meaning that the plugs and routers are probably going to be very important in the sequel as well. Like, is a phone basically a station on its own where everything travels from app to app? I don't even know if this video makes sense anymore. <laughs> but I'm going to suggest that someone unplugging an arcade game and plugging their phone in could be the plot of Wreck-It Ralph 2. Like, Thinks It Felix is an old game, and I know they described it as retro at the end, but people are going to get bored of it eventually. What if a kid's phone dies and they realise, oh, well, no one's playing with this game, I might as well unplug it and plug my phone in. Meaning that Ralph, Felix, and the Nicelanders are all left homeless. And don't you think if that happened, they would want to know what's going on and would travel inside the phone through the station? I definitely think it's plausible. And if you agree with me that that's a plausible plot for Wreck-It Ralph 2, well, thanks, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and click subscribe here. Watch another video here, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.
Oh, and also uh, leave comments down below about um, thoughts on this video and uh, check out my other social medias here.